Raven Johnson at the SEC logo. They got to play through Rikia Jackson. That's now 17 points in the second half for Rakia. Paint and rebounding. Cardoso almost threw it away. Six seconds here. Gonna scramble for the ball on the floor. Back out to South Carolina. It went through the legs of Tessa Johnson, and that's over and back. Almost everybody on both teams was on the floor <laughs> fighting for that basketball. You don't think these teams, each team, wants to be playing tomorrow? Just went through the legs of Tessa Johnson. We are under a minute to go with a tie ball game. And now Tennessee, they can look to attack the, the basket. They are in the bonus. South Carolina is not. Tennessee still has two fouls to give. Rakia Jackson, she got herself some room. Tamari Key almost had it. It stays with Tennessee. I think the officials are going to look at it. I think Raven Johnson got a hand on it. Looks yeah. like this should be Tennessee ball. Yeah, inside a minute, the officials will go to the monitor, review possession here. They'll also double check that the clock is correct. The original call was Tennessee. Call on the floor is orange. Players under review. Yes, I know. And there's got to be indisputable evidence to overturn that. I think right there you see it go last off the hand of Raven Johnson. I would agree. Wow. With the way this game started, it's drastically different than how it is ending. South Carolina jumped out to a 13 to nothing lead. Tennessee only scored six points in the first quarter. They didn't have a field goal until the 250 mark in the first quarter. And they never panicked. Just chipped away. They organized their offense. Defensively, the intensity for the Lady Vols picked up and they got themselves right back into this position. The call on the floor is confirmed. Orange ball. The game clock will be reset to 43.4. So here we go. South Carolina is 30-0 on the season. They have won 36 straight games against SEC opponents. Tennessee has not beaten the number one team in the nation since 2005 when they beat LSU at the SEC tournament. And remember, South Carolina is the only team in the country, men or women's, that is undefeated right now. Is the third time a charm for Tennessee this season. That's good defense. They gotta get it in. Steal. Tennessee needs to look for number two in orange, Rakia Jackson. At the top of your screen. Six seconds. Backdoor cut for Rakia. Shot clock did not reset. Second chance goes. Tennessee with its first lead. And Rakia, South Carolina will call timeout. Rakia Jackson's mama's loving it. South Carolina calls timeout. This is a South Carolina team over the last three seasons. Look at this record. 101 wins, only three losses. And those three losses have come by single digits. 
how did Tennessee catch back up after trailing by 23 points? They played through number two, Rakia Jackson. And with all the attention defensively that came to number two in orange, she was able to distribute it. She's not just a shooter, not just a scorer, but she is a baller that can create shots. And that's how the Lady Vols got in this. And I had said, rebounding will decide a lot about this game. Who will win it? Rakia Jackson with the offensive rebound. You know what? She gets it from her mama. Yeah. Her mom, Karen, feeling all of it. Jackson has scored the last four points to tie and take the lead for Tennessee. But here's South Carolina's chance down by two. Now, and Tennessee still has two fouls to give. They just don't need to foul South Carolina in the act. Watkins looking for help. No basket. Dawn Staley calls a timeout. That will be the final timeout for South Carolina. 11 and a half seconds on the clock. So where do you go right now if you're South Carolina with 11.5? Where South Carolina always goes in this situation. You've got Camilla Cardoso to the rim. She has the opportunity to score two and tie it up and the possibility of getting fouled. She'll be going against Tamari Key. If that, if the lane is clogged up, then you're gonna have three-point shooters. You've got Pow Pow, you got jo you got Johnson out on the outside. Now for Tennessee, Tennessee still has two fouls to give. So now they can foul, they can foul South Carolina when they get the ball in as long as they're not in the act of shooting. Making time tick off the clock. That takes less, that takes away from the time South Carolina would have to execute their offense. And make them inbound the ball again with no timeouts. Tennessee does have two timeouts. The possession arrow pointing towards South Carolina. Winner is going to the SEC championship game. Tennessee has been there more than anyone. 37 appearances in the semifinals. They are looking to get back to the finals for the 25th time. As of recently, though, it's been South Carolina that has dominated this tournament eight of the last 11 seasons, seven of the last nine tournaments. They have won SEC titles. The most important thing South Carolina's got to do is get the ball in. They have no timeouts. Gamecocks down two. Raven Johnson will inbound. Pow, pow. The kick out to Raven Johnson short. Tennessee can feel it. The foul was on Malaysia for Wiley. And Tennessee is in the bonus. They've had their chances two times before against South Carolina. Can they finish it off here? Gamecocks have no timeouts. Three point seven for Wiley. She's fouled by Spear. No shot. For Wiley tried to get in the act of shooting, but that foul was on the floor. That was a smart play by Jewel Spear. So South Carolina will have to inbound again. They don't have a timeout. Don Staley is trying to quickly talk to her team with one point one. And Tennessee still has one foul to give. But they don't need to foul. Cardoso for three. Banks it in! A miracle for the Gamecocks! No bigger shot!
Camila Cardoso, the SEC Defensive Player of the Year, winning it in the semifinals with her offense, her first three-pointer. The last person that you would expect to be in the position to pull the three, to pull off the win for South Carolina. It's Camilla Cardoso at the top of the key. Tennessee said there's no need to go out there and guard the big girl, 6'7". Camilla Cardoso banks it in. She has never hit a three-pointer in her career until this moment. Just waiting for the right time. Wow. And devastation for Tennessee, who was so close to taking down the number one team.